at 6.15. I have to get out of bed. Mm. Oh, what is up with my hair? Okay guys, so for breakfast, I literally just make an omelet. It's not even like a complicated omelet. I take this egg white, put it in this cup, then pour it in a pan. And you could obviously add like, well, you could obviously add like vegetables and stuff to it, but it's really early in the morning and I'm kind of too lazy to do all that. So. Yeah, that's my breakfast. This here is gonna be my lunch straight from Costco. Literally the best and easiest thing you can make. Put it in a pot of boiling water, and once it floats up, that means it's done. Put the toppings, and then it's finished. Oh! that a little bit too early but it's okay me on Instagram versus me in real life honestly both look pretty good all right guys oh it's kind of dark but this is like literally what I do every morning um there's no fakeness like I literally don't add any vegetables to my omelet like this is the most plain omelet you could ever get, okay? And then you get a little bit of ketchup, and you have a little bit of my mom's mango smoothie that she makes. And then I just watched New Girl, like an episode or two, cause, you know, why not? Damn, bro, it's raining outside. All right, guys, I have to go make the run to the Walgreens pharmacy with my little lunch bag. It's my sister's, but I need a lunch bag because I got to eat. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, God. It's so far away. Why did I park so far? Who knows? Um, I forgot my white coat. Oh. The pharmacy, it's a community pharmacy. People pick up their medications here and talk to the pharmacists over there. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. I had to run back, get my white coat, got it. But now I'm soaking wet. But what else? Um, so what do I do for my rotations? I fill prescriptions for a couple of hours, count them, put them in pill bottles. Then for another couple of hours, I call up a couple of doctors, or a bunch of doctors actually, let them know that we sent them a refill request via fax. Um, I'm putting myself to sleep just talking about it. My job is to speak to clients um, on the phone about uh, quantities and uh, type of copy or paper, you know, uh, whether we can supply it to them, whether they can uh, pay for it, and um, I, I'm, I'm boring myself just talking about this. Um, do I like my rotation? Um, well, the people I work with are amazing, and they're great, they're super nice, and I'm very thankful that I'm working with great people, so that's always a plus. Very, I guess, robotic, so you kind of just do the same thing every single day, day or day in and day out, and there's really no new challenges or anything like that. Um, I mean, I did learn how to get in a prescription when they call it in. So I guess that was cool, but um, yeah, 
I feel like even though it's like a long rotation, I guess it's like four weeks, right? Um, you don't let this turn you off to your whole career. So this is only one part of pharmacy. So other parts of pharmacies, like working in a farm, uh, hospital, which is clinical, working in the industry, and I haven't had that uh, experience yet. So I don't know what I like, but I, I this rotation showed me that, you know, this isn't what I want to do. So I guess I've narrowed my options by a little bit knowing that I don't want to do this. So I guess that's a good thing. But yeah, I'm two weeks into my rotation. I have two more weeks left. I'm eating lunch in the car. Uh, I made some ravioli, as you guys saw in the morning. Um, but yeah, now I'm just chilling, probably gonna listen to some music. Yo, check out this Japanese candy. Kind of looks like it's a person, but it's really just two like jawbreaker looking thingies. Kind of cool. Okay guys, I feel so terrible that I couldn't bring in my camera and show you guys what I do on rotations so this video might seem pointless because you can't really see what I'm doing on rotations but I want to show you guys, using some of the stuff I had at home, how I fill a prescription. So let me take you guys through the steps of what I do. Okay, so what the first thing that happens is a label will print out or a pamphlet. It'll say the name, the date of birth of the patient, the medication, the amount the patient needs, and the NDC number. So the NDC number is what you look for. So once you find the medication, you gotta make sure that it matches. So there's a lot of different manufacturers and some medications do look alike. So you have to make sure this number matches this. And it's basically a foolproof system because once you go up to the computer or the scanner, you'll scan the barcode of the label and then the barcode of the medication and if it matches it'll let you go through so it's really hard to make an error but sometimes mistakes do occur okay next so the pharmacy where i work at we do have a pill counter so if we need to count we'll just scan it and then start pouring it into the counter but in the pharmacy where i'm rotating we don't have a pill counter so what you do is you take the medication and you pour it on to the counting device that they have and then you take something like this i'm using a butter knife and you would count. So usually you count in five. So you go like five, and then you would go 10, and then so on until you count the right amount of medication. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Lastly, well, the medication thing that they use, it's way more uh, sophisticated and made for the pharmacy, but you would pour it into the pill bottle. Oops. Then once you pour it into a pill bottle, you would cap it. Guys, I can't do this with one hand, it's so difficult. Okay. So once you put it into a pill bottle, you see right here, you cap it. If it says a safety cap, no safety cap, then you gotta put a cap, which is easier for elderly people or people who have uh, weak arm strength or who just have problems opening these caps, uh, a cap that's easier to pop off. So these are child-proof, child safety. So it takes a little bit of effort to put them on and off. So once you get the medication in, you would find the label, you would put the label on here, put it in a bin and the pharmacist will check and verify the prescription. So that's most of the time or most of the hours that I spend doing, I do that. So it's finding a whole bunch of medications. Obviously there's mix ups, there's other things that I have to do, but that's mainly the gist of it and you can build off of it. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Okay guys, so I just got done with my rotations. Now I have to race over to work. Um, kind of a rough day if I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys. Um, not in the best mood because I'm super tired. It's so busy and like I don't know, it's just like mindless work, you know, like my head's my brain's not being put to work, but whatever. Gotta go to work. I'll see you guys at work. Um yeah, it's four o'clock. Work starts at four thirty, so I'm gonna head over there now. See you there. Closing time. <laughs> All right guys, this is where I work. I can't do it without the cages because then I'll get sued. Shout out Krishna, one of the best pharmacists out there. 
Hi, Krishna. Yes, guys, my day is finally over. Holy crap, an eight to eight day. Um, woke up at six, got done with work at work, uh, rotations at work by 8 p.m. And now I'm here. Um, I'm sorry I can't really show you guys much about what I do or where I work just because there's a lot of private health information that's inside of the pharmacy so I obviously can't record inside and even if I want to record from the outside there's still some information that maybe you can see a little bit through the camera so my pharmacist and uh, they just didn't want me to take my chances with that so I just recorded it from outside but thank you for coming along with me in this day I don't know if I'm ending this video right now but we made it guys we got through Monday we have the whole week ahead of us but Mondays are always the worst, so yeah, let's go home.